Hey, if we haven't met yet, my name's Sarah and I'm the mom next door. I'm passionate about finding and sharing ways to live life better. And one of the things I love to do for my family is bake cakes for birthdays and special events. If you've seen some of my videos before, you've probably seen me baking cakes many times using a handheld KitchenAid mixer. I'm a fan of KitchenAid. I've wanted one of these for so long. I kept saying one day KitchenAid will sponsor me and they haven't yet, but my husband did. My husband was at Costco recently and as a surprise gift, picked up one of these for me. So I'm super excited to open it up and unbox it with you today. This is the six quart bowl lift KitchenAid mixer from Costco. They have red ones too, and my handheld is actually red, but I'm super excited about the gray because I love neutral colors in my kitchen. <laughs> Just a little thank you note. Oh, and look at this. Codes for a bunch of different accessories. All right, we got one of these whirly gigs for batters. Put this on the ground. Uh, batter splatter guards. So shiny and new. There we go. A little user guide thing. Here it is. This is the bowl scraper. Scrapes that batter from the edge of the bowl. I've never used one of these, I'm so excited. I think this is the extra like free gift that comes in the nice package that Costco offers. Here we go. I don't know what all these are called yet. <laughs> but here's another cool thing. Oh, let's see, it says on here, flat beater. What am I gonna do with this? I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out though. Oh, here's the main event. And that's pretty much everything from the box. All right, look at this beauty. My first time. So this one does not have that tilt head. This is the bowl lift instead. So you can lift it up to mix it. Put it down, got a power cord. This is big, this is heavy duty. <laughs> 10 different speeds. I guess there's 12 different speeds. 11? Because there's a zero, that's probably off. One half plus one through 10. So 11 speeds. And we have the wire whip is what comes assembled in here. I don't even know. I don't even know. What do you do? Pull it, twist it. Oh, it comes off like that. Nice. Look at that whip. Let me try the big batter thing. Okay, so you put it on, twist it. Okay. Hand wash only. Washing and dishwasher will cause wire whip to discolor. Perfect, I don't even have a dishwasher. My kitchen is a 1940s kitchen. We bought this house three years ago during 2020. We did kind of a mini version of the kitchen makeover this summer. So I love the kitchen so much more now, but I'm really excited. We're saving up for the big remodel that I wanna do, which is gonna be radically different. We're gonna tear everything out and totally redo this side of the house, eventually. Anyway, let's see, how does the bowl come get out of here? You would think you just lift it up, but you don't. What do you have to do? Okay. Maybe you twist it? Oh, okay. There we go. It's probably way easier to get in there without an attachment. Okay, push up, twist, fall right down. So to get the bowl in, line it up on this little things. Why does it feel hard? What is in my way? Oh, there's a thing on that side. I'm going to get this down, but until then, I'm not going to lie. It feels a little awkward. Okay, so you have to get it. You can't do one than the other, team. You got to get this bowl right on top, and then you got to press it straight down. It doesn't feel snapped in on that side. You just... Force it. 
I don't feel like you force it. Let's look at the look. Assembly, it was assembled when I got it. That's awesome. No, I don't think this is troubleshooting. This is just like, how the heck do I use this new thing I got? Fit the bowl supports over locating pins and press down on the back of the bowl. Okay. Oh, okay, that's intense. Okay, let's try it again. We're gonna practice. I'm gonna set it lightly on top of those pins. Push it down, snaps. Cool. Let's see. This definitely has a heavy feel to it. Definitely feels like commercial, industrial. It's not light Ugh, to lift up. I can see why they sell those things that you actually set this on so you can slide it in and out from under your counter. This bad boy is not gonna fit under my counter. Um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna keep it yet, but it's definitely heavy duty. The bowl feels solid. This unit feels solid. This thing like locks into place. It's not going anywhere. It's not gonna drift down or anything. Look at this one. Oh, there's a sticker on it. Use speed two only. Okay, I'm gonna leave that sticker on there. Okay, the shield thing, does that just snap on? I don't know. Some of this is gonna take some practice, but I see how there's a little spot to pour ingredients in. Quick tip about instruction guides. I do like to keep instruction guides for my different appliances, and I just have a gallon size Ziploc bag. I throw all of these kinds of things in here even though I could probably find all the answers I ever need on YouTube. Thanks for joining me today for the unboxing of my newest kitchen toy, the KitchenAid. It's a six quart bowl lift mixer that I've been eyeing at Costco for quite some time. Really wanted a KitchenAid forever. I've never had a stand up mixer like this. I've always just used the handheld. Um, in fact, I remember in my early twenties when I was so excited to go buy a handheld mixer because I had been using just a whisk at my arm forever <laughs> when baking. Um, so this is an exciting upgrade for my kitchen and it was a random gift from my husband that I'm super thankful for. So if you're watching, babe, thank you. And Hey, if you made it this far, then let's be friends. Go ahead and hit subscribe.